just to start with then um, muscle it back over the performance against Wigan and arguably the strongest best performance of the season in, in such a big game that must have been pleasing for yourself yeah definitely I think um, as you said the boys played really well and you know, we had a real good two week preparation into that game and, and to watch them play so well was you know, credit to them and you know, as you said we come away with a great win and injury wise the boys come through okay? yeah we're all great which is terrific so you know we'll have a good two hard weeks of training a lot of people say oh you got another week off but it's not a week off for us that's uh, two weeks of hard training and, and the only difference is we haven't got a game at, at the end of it against an opposition so we can freshen up mentally but in terms of training we'll, uh, we'll have two hard weeks you're not climbing uh, Mount Everest this week <laughs> no no not needed uh, look it was great um, as I said because we played sort of the, the 33 games straight and so it was good to, to do an alternate activity two weeks ago but um, I said to the boys and and they agree we didn't need that this time around. We need two weeks of hard training, physically hard, um, mentally freshen up a bit. But um, you know, we've got to put some hard work in to, to make sure we've got one more good game in us. And just a quick line, obviously, it was your last game at the Tottenham Stadium. A great performance to end that on and hopefully end your final game on, on an even bigger high. Yeah, absolutely. It was great to, to see the boys play so well at our last home game. And, and, and I'm proud that, that we've won every game at home this year. Uh, it's a credit to the fans turning up and it's a credit to how well the players are playing. They, it goes hand in hand. And um, I, I didn't get emotion, which was great. Only, you know, we all know the season's not over and I've got one more game to go. So um, that, that helped me, that's for sure. But uh, look, yeah, t terrific. And yeah, look forward to playing at Old Trafford. And it's Wigan or Salford in that grand final. Obviously, they'll go head to head this week. Salford potentially still the underdogs, but you know, it'd be no surprise to see Wigan bounce back. No, I agree with it. Yeah, look, I think um, a bit similar to our game last week. They said, oh, Wigan, great momentum, beating Salford. You've had a week off. Who's better? I said, it doesn't matter. It's who plays well. And, and the same for this week's semi. I think Wigan will want to bounce back after you know, their defeat against us and, and Salford will claim that they're playing well because they beat Cass. So, look, I think it nullifies itself out and it'll be a close game and, yeah, whoever gets here will, will deserve it. If it ends up being Wigan, I mean, it is what it is, but is it, would it be a bit strange to potentially be playing Wigan again after playing them in the semi-final? Oh, no, I think that's that's what's standard with a, with a five-team semi-format, so I think that's, um, you know, sort of OK with that. That's That's... And the good thing about our group is if it does go that way, that we know we've got to play well again. You know, we've had that many people leading into that game. Um, our own fans go, oh, we can always come good. How are we going to go? We're not real sure. And, and since we've won, you know, the same people are going to say, oh, if we can get there, you'll beat them easy. So, um, but we know, you know, we've got to create that again and play well. So if it is Wigan, um, we won't be expecting to just, just you know, have a convincing win. We know if we play well, we can. So, you know, but we've got to play well.